A bit ago, I made a video about the possibility of Mass Effect 2 and 3 becoming backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Now, there are a few kinds of people out there, some who were excited for the game becoming available on the Xbox One, and some who were wishing for a remastered edition. I have seen these conversations come up on other sites like Reddit as well. Both of them would be great, but each have some cons to it as well. I want to go over those. Now, let's start off with the remaster. The pros for the remaster are that we don't have to rebuy the game, which as a broke college student is never a bad thing. And making the game backwards compatible takes less time than creating a whole remastered edition, meaning that Mass Effect Andromeda won't have any development time taken away from it. Now, the cons for a backwards compatible Mass Effect 2 and 3 are that Mass Effect 1 still doesn't have DLC on Xbox One, meaning that Mass Effect 2 and 3 might have the same issue so you don't get the full experience of the game. There have also been frame rate and performance issues on the Xbox One while playing Mass Effect. Another small issue, more of a lazy complaint, is that Mass Effect 2 and 3 still aren't available digitally on the Xbox Store, meaning that on the Xbox One, you would still have to keep changing the discs around. Now, I know that really isn't much of a con and more of a lazy person being thing, but it's, you know, still kind of inconvenient. Now, some easy fixes for this would obviously be get Mass Effect 2 and 3 on the Xbox Store digitally. Now, some others would be making sure that the game can perform well without frame drops or other bugs before releasing it on the Xbox One. And also, releasing it with DLC, including adding the DLC for Mass Effect 1. So, now I'm moving on to the other side, getting a remastered edition. Now, remastered editions really seem to be the big thing with current gen consoles each of them having many of their past-gen major hits coming back with improved graphics and all of the games in the series in a nice bundle. Many fans, myself included, would love to have a remastered Mass Effect bundle. Having all three games with DLC running at 1080p with 60fps with improved graphics is something that I'm sure many fans would jump on given the opportunity. Now this would also bring in a lot of fans as they get ready for the next Mass Effect game. But there are some bad things that would go with that. For example, taking the time to remaster each game would take a lot of development time and that would take away from the development of Mass Effect Andromeda. Now they could go the route of getting a different studio to do the remastering, but from what we've seen, more specifically on a, uh, another branch of Follower, sometimes that doesn't always work out. There would also be the issue of people having to pay for it. I know that I am sure that we would all pay for it, and gladly so, but still having the choice between playing a game that we already own compared to buying a $60 remastered for the same game but prettier graphics might sound unappealing. Now, before I end this video, I want to mention that I am in no way confirming that a remastered edition is happening. In fact, the chances of it are very slim, but we can hope. On the topic of backwards compatibility, we will most likely get news about it at EA Play starting on June 12th. So which would you prefer, a remastered Mass Effect bundle or getting them on backwards compatibility? Let us know in the comments below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.